Recently, I was critical of Ned Yost uh, moving Eric Hosmer up to second in the batting order. At the time, Hosmer was struggling at the plate. Now the manager looks like a genius on this one, at least for the time being. Hosmer is the hottest hitter on the team at the All-Star break, but whoa, not so fast on this one, folks. We know what this guy is capable of, but he hasn't shown he can put it all together for a full season. He hasn't done that yet. My pet peeve with this manager hadn't changed at all. He likes to tinker with the order too much for me. I think I understand what he's up to. He likes to play hunches, and that's all right. This guy must lay awake, though, at night trying to figure out what to do with Moose and Butler. I guess Moose is always a threat to hit one out. I mean, who else can they turn to? Butler, a lifetime 300 hitter, is nowhere close to that and hasn't been all season. I think they're whistling in the dark now on country breakfast. He's lost yeah, he's bad speed. He's lost power. I can outrun him right now. His 10-year stay in KC is about over. If the Royals are going to make a legitimate run in the second half, Alex Gordon needs to be healthy. A bad wrist is never a good thing. The Royals remain, and they, they keep telling us that the rest will take care of this. We'll see. I'm still of the belief that the Royals can hang around now and have a chance in September to get one of those wild card playoff spots if they can find a bat. If they can't, all bets are off. That means the longest playoff drought in major North American sports is in no jeopardy. By the way, it's 29 years in county. That's Jack Smack.